1 Kings chapter 16. The word of Adonai came to Yehu the son of Hanani against Baasha. I raised you up out of the dust and made you prince over my people Israel. But you have lived in the same way as Yerovam and caused my people Israel to sin, so that their sinning has made me angry. Therefore I will sweep away Baza and his house completely. I will make your house like the house of Yerovam the son of Enbat. If someone from the line of Baza dies in the city, the dogs will eat him. If he dies in the countryside, the vultures will eat him. Other activities of Bar Shah, his accomplishments and his power are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Baza slept with his ancestors, and Ella his son became king in his place. Through the prophet Yehu, the son of Hanani, the word of Adonai was proclaimed against Baza and his house both because he did so much evil from Adonai's perspective, angering him with his actions and becoming like the house of Yerovam, and because he killed Nadav. The Reign of Ella it was in the twenty-sixth year of Asa king of Yehuda that Ella the son of Baza began his reign over all Israel in Tertza, and he ruled for two years. His servant Zimri, commander of half of his chariots, plotted against him. Finally, one time when Ella was in Tertza, drinking himself senseless in the house of Artza, administrator of the palace in Tertza. Zimri entered, struck him down and killed him. This was in the 27th year of Asa king of Yehuda. Zimri then took Ella's place as king. At the beginning of his reign, as soon as he took over the throne, he killed off the entire house of Bar Shah. He left not a single male, neither of his relatives nor of his friends. Thus Zimri eliminated all the house of Bar Shah, in keeping with the word of Adonai spoken against Baza through Yehu the prophet, this word had been spoken. Because of all of Baza's sins and the sins of Ella his son, which they committed and with which they made Israel sin, thereby angering Adonai the God of Israel with their worthless idols. Other activities of Ella and all his accomplishments are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. The Reign of Zimri It was in the 27th year of Asa king of Yehuda that Zimri ruled for seven days in Tertza. At that time, the army was besieging Gibbeton, which belonged to the Pelishtim. The troops in their camp heard it said that Zimri had plotted and killed the king, Whereupon that same day, there in the camp, all Israel made Omri, the commander of the army, king over Israel. Omri and all Israel with him withdrew from Gibbeton and besieged Tertza. When Zimri saw that the city had been captured, he went into the citadel of the royal palace and burned down the royal palace over him, so that he died. This came about because of the sins he committed in doing what was evil from Adonai's perspective, in living as Yerovam had lived, and in sinning by making Israel sin. Other activities of Zimri and his conspiracy are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. The Reign of Omri At this point the people of Israel divided into two factions, Half of the people went after Tivni the son of Janat to make him king, while the other half followed Omri. But the faction supporting Omri won out over that of Tivni the son of Janat, so Tivni died, and Omri became king. It was in the 31st year of Asa king of Yehuda that Omri began his reign over Israel, and he ruled for 12 years, six of them in Tertza. He bought Mount Shomron from Shema for 132 pounds of silver. On the mountain he built a city, which he named Shomron after Shema, who had owned the mountain. 
Omri did what was evil from a Donai's perspective, outdoing all his predecessors in wickedness. For he lived entirely in the manner of Yerovan the son of Nevat, committing the sins with which he made Israel sin, thereby angering Adonai the God of Israel with their worthless idols. Other activities of Omri and the power he demonstrated are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Then, Omri slept with his ancestors and was buried in Shomron, and Akav his son became king in his place. Ahab does evil. It was in the 38th year of Asa king of Yehuda that Akav the son of Omri began his rule over Israel. Akav the son of Omri ruled 22 years over Israel in Shomron. Akav the son of Omri did what was evil from Adonai's perspective, outdoing all his predecessors in wickedness. But then, as if it had been a trifling thing for him to commit the sins of Yerovan the son of Nevat, he took as his wife Isabel the daughter of Etbile king of the Zidonim, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. He erected an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Shomron. Akav also set up the Asherah. Indeed, Akav did more to anger Adonai the God of Israel, than all the kings of Israel preceding him. It was during his time that Hiel of Betel rebuilt Jericho. He laid its foundation at the cost of his firstborn son Aviram and erected its gates at the cost of his youngest son Sagav. This was in keeping with the word of Adonai spoken through Yehoshua the son of Nun.